Hey, Karina. Hey, Vanessa. Nicaraguan and Cuban, Karina Calero goes to beauty school, holds two jobs, and fully supports her grandparents. She's looking for tips on how to master a perfect pout. But I'm wondering about her story. Where did she get the values that keep her so grounded? So, Karina, you wanted to learn how to do lips today? Yes, how to get the perfect pout and how my lipstick could last longer. So, before we get to lips, I've always wondered, how do you manage working two jobs and taking care of your grandparents? I always make sure I make time for them. Even though I have a busy schedule, I make sure that they're my number one priorities. You don't live with your parents, so no. do you feel like it's a lot of pressure to take care of them? No, not at all, because it's really not a hard job to do. Okay. I, I learn how to do it, and I'm used to doing it every day, so it's just part of my routine that I do. So do you think that it's in the Latino culture that we want to take care of our elders and spend time with them? I like spending time with them. It's you know something that I enjoy. You know. I don't really think it's like a burden or something because it's, they show me love all the time. So I think me spending time with my grandparents, you know, I'm showing them love back. So to give you that perfect pout that you're looking for, we're just going to line up your lips and fill them in. A quick tip when lining the lips, we want to start with the outer corner and work our way with long strokes to the cupid's bow, which is right here. To give the fuller lips, we're going to take our pencil and we're going to draw lines straight down into the creases of the lip. So last, we're going to take some lipstick, press into the center, and work the lipstick out into the outer corners. Same thing on the top, I like to just drag toward the center. So I took the lip liner again and I'm just going to blend all of the colors together. So just listening to your story makes me want to go hang out with my grandparents like right now and just hear their stories and their struggles and take that love and, and really just use it to motivate me to do my best that I can out here.